Hi folks, in this video I'd like to show you how to update your Google Maps. I'll also show you how to just remove it and replace it with HTML content if you want to do that instead. Because not everybody's going to want to have a Google Map, but it does add a little bit of confidence to visitors to your website if they know there's a physical location attached to the website. So let's just jump into our web editor and uh, open up our library, components, and our contact panel page. Here is the iframe. We're going to be replacing this iframe with a new iframe directly from the Google website. So the first thing we need to do is generate that map. So go to maps.google.com. Now to find a map, if you've never used this tool before, it's quite cool. You can type in a name of a place or you can type in an address. Right? If uh, this example, Disneyland, it, pulls up all sorts of information that other people have entered so we can um, let's just go with the Disney Resort here it will actually give us a nice little uh, map take us right there now here's the cool thing we can do uh, once you have your address typed in here it'll show the map over here and then we have this link if you click that link uh, what we can do here is see this paste HTML to embed into website yeah what we want to do is just click anywhere within this iframe here so it selects the entire thing. You just have to click there inside and then copy. Go back to your web editor. Right beside the iframe in your page, right here, I like to click on the number beside it. I paste, just like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll on back here. Now there's a couple of numbers I'm going to recommend you change here. Um, you could simply remove the width and the height, or you can type in a number if you want to change the uh, the number. Uh, 305 works best for the height and 100 percent works best for the width. That's if you want to have a custom height and width. If you don't, if you just want it to fit normally as the existing one does, uh, then you just remove them all together and just uh, have the frame border scrolling, minimum height, uh, margin height and margin width. And that's all you need to do.